Hello and welcome to this new tutorial in the list dedicated to the programming of the ESP32 port in an easy way. Today we will see together the SPI file system. You can think of the SPIF as a very small SD card on board the ESP32 ship itself. We can use it to store a configuration file or a web page. In this video we will see how to save data inside a file and read them later. Let's go to the site easycoding.tn and search for any link to tune out for ESP32. In the beginning, I will add a delay of 3 seconds just to have the time to open the serial monitor. First, I need to mount the file system. Basically, I need to open the access to the whole storage space. If I don't mount it or have errors, it will not be possible to continue. Here I don't have any problem, so I will make a program to write inside a file. First I need to open the file in write mode. After that I will check if my file was really created. To write any uh, data, we will use uh, this uh, block. It will return true if uh, the operation was uh, successful. Here we will write uh, three lines. In the end, I need to close the file.
Now I will test. And as you can see, the file was created. Now I will open my uh, file but with a different uh, variable name. Delete the right uh, mode. The read file block will read one character from the file. So basically we will read the file character by character until it ends. In the end, don't forget to close uh, your file. Now we are ready to upload uh, the program. As you can see, the writing part of the file is fine. For the reading part, uh, I see that uh, the program is reading uh, the file character by uh, character and displaying on the serial, serial monitor. You can find uh, this code in the comments uh, below. I will try to uh, make more videos about uh, SPI FFS in the future. In the end, I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.